wanted to establish Philippines, Manila, um, as a tech uh, hub for Southeast Asia. Uh, kind of like Silicon Valley, Silicon Alley, we'll find a Silicon something for the Philippines. <laughs> Silicon traffic. <laughs> really kind of uh, the aspiration and inspiration you know, for this, uh, you know, obviously we, we had our success at Elite Daily, uh, and we really, you know, we understood that there's no secret recipe, there's no magic formula for success, it's really opportunity, uh, timing, and really having the right set of cultural beliefs and support system. Um, so, you know, kind of encompassing that, you know, we, we, we've got a good cast of uh, different VCs from uh, all over Southeast Asia, uh, different entrepreneurs from, from the States and the Philippines, uh, as well as, you know, local startups. So, you know, as much as we can kind of get into the community here, uh, educate um, from, from, from a cultural perspective more than anything, you know, I think there's a lot of uh, different companies out here and, and different groups that are you know, tackling the, the investment arm and, and kind of the operational stuff. Um, and really what we're focusing on is trying to inspire the next generation of millennial entrepreneurs. Um, guys like us, you know, the, the guys that maybe sat in the back of the class and uh, you know, weren't maybe the most aggressive in, in kind of uh, pitching their ideas, you know. So how do we kind of motivate and inspire the next group of entrepreneurs in the Philippines? Yeah, so actually after the sale of Lee Daily, I uh, traveled throughout Asia and I really fell in love with the Philippines. Um, so I, I really came back and I told Johnny, we should uh, look into something out here. I think there's a ton of talent um, and if we can just get them and get everyone in the Filipino community in the right culture, we can kind of uh, have that talent, have that talent exposed and create great company. Mm -hmm. Again, culture is kind of the biggest thing here. Uh, you know, we, our, our, our backgrounds weren't uh, tech or you know, kind of anything like that. It was really the, the collective energy and the emotion of um, our group. Um, so you know, to kind of be in Lunch Garage and, and see the different companies working here in the same way, uh, it's very, very, you know, very inspiring. It's absolutely so. I mean, with regards to that, it's, it's about you know, attitude and, and having the right mindset. You know, it's not necessarily you know, your background, it's not necessarily your education, it's not necessarily where you come from. Um, so you know, we're all from New York, we're based out of New York. Spending time traveling the world like Adrian and myself, I think he's not here um, in the Philippines. I guess kind of what we're trying to portray is the only common thread of all success, regardless of the background, because we all uh, come from different places, is hard work. Right? Um, hard work, have fun, enjoy it, good company, you know, and work together, collaboration. Right? It's in the spirit of you know, the incubator. Um, thank you for Montreal for having us here. Uh, I think it embodies the whole. Uh, spirit of the way on what we're trying to do here. And so I think that the funny story to tell here is full way. I mean, we're kind of like, hey, Lane, you know, the, what are you going to introduce us? And I just goes, hey, it got together in less than a month. Uh, I remember when uh, I was on that call, I was in New York um, in my apartment, uh, and Lane, it's two, 2 in the afternoon, it's 2 in the morning here, and I'm like, hey, Lane, nice to meet you. And she's like, oh, what do we do? And we're like, uh, <laughs> you know. And it, it's, it's organic, you know, you surround yourself with the right people, with the right mission, um, and things happen, you know, and you the full wave. And we were conceptualizing this uh, for some time now. Uh, we've known each other all for, for years, um, and we've been talking, hey, let's do something, hey, let's do something. But full wave itself really came together and spent up in less than a month, okay? Um, and it was one of those funny stories where you end up sitting in a circle and be like, wait, we have something, we have to do this. Uh, again, it's very organic, uh, and as much as you know, we, we might have wanted to hold off or kind of postpone or you know, put things off a little bit. Um, you know, the opportunity and the timing is, is very much right now. You know, and kind of like the culture of the state of the startup community is, is really important. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different VCs coming out of here. Uh, you know, the, there's a lot of stuff going on in the government, a lot of reform that you know, 